Morning. So, does anyone else think it's like really weird what what goes on in the news, right? The mainstream media. It's fucking weird, isn't it? It's mental. It's like, and I'm going to sound like a conspiracy theorist here, but it's like all feels like one massive distraction. Like nobody's focusing on what's fucking really going on here, and the shit the government is spending money on when the country is, and I mean, listen, I don't know if you know, right, but the country is fucked. I mean, my mortgage is set to fucking triple in a, in a few months. Some people's mortgages out there are gonna four times, five times, right? People don't have money. People are already fucked from the energy crisis, right? From having to spunk all their money on gas and electric, right? People are already fucked, and I mean, seriously fucked for i mean i've racked up shit loads of debt on my nightclub because i bought a nightclub and couldn't fucking open the thing right but they still charged me my fucking rent through lockdown some people lost their income completely destroyed their businesses some people spent their whole lives saving up to start businesses started businesses and lockdown fucked them right so people have been like it's it's like a bukkake party in the uk mate it's just coming from every fucking angle and the news is focused on a submarine with a billionaire in it down at the bottom of the fucking ocean. Very sad story, terrible way to die. But, you know, I'm, I'm a little, just a little bit more interested in what's gonna happen with my life, my kids' lives, what's happening with the fucking country. You've got millions, and I mean tens and twenties or thirty millions spent every fucking month on housing people that are coming, coming across the UK. And are homeless are just sat on the streets. And our people are gonna be made homeless from this this fucking from this crash. There's a crash coming, right? If you own a house, what happens is is when people fucking try and flood the market with properties that they can no longer afford and the market is saturated with property, there's too much fucking there's too much out there for people to pick from. So the property prices drop. So anyone that can afford their mortgage now still is fucked because the value of their property is gonna fucking plummet. We're fucked. And do you know what we got to watch on the TV yesterday? Rishi Sunak telling us how much he's sending, how much money he's sending to Ukraine. What the fuck is going? Can someone tell me what the fuck is going on? Because everything that happened back in the day, that conspiracy theory said about COVID, that the jab was fucked, that it's going to kill people, that it's a, a controlling exercise, all that. A lot of stuff has come out that is true. Now. I'm just saying this. Some of my friends that are called cranks, Lee and Char, yeah, tin, tin full hat wearers, a couple of them geezers said, don't worry, you know what's going to happen after that? The big reset. The money fucking shift. What's going to happen after lockdown is there's going to be a big crash. Property prices are going to drop. Everyone's going to lose their money. It's going to turn to a digital currency, a, a, a centralised bank. Um, and this is what it all is to get rid of cash. I don't know. All I know is that while you're looking at a fucking submarine at the bottom of the fucking ocean, uh, or worrying about what's happening in Ukraine, they are bending you over, and they ain't lubing you up. Put it that way. They're fucking literally slipping your hard-earned cash out of your pocket. It fucking drives, it drives me insane. Like, when I sit and think about it, that I pay like nearly 40% tax on my earnings. Then once I've earned my earnings, and I want to fucking spend my earnings. I've got to pay tax on fuel. I've got to pay tax on fucking the car that I buy. I've got to pay tax on the house. Listen, and if after all of that, I've managed to save enough fucking money, right? Right, to buy a house. When I buy the house with my hard earned money, of which probably 40, 50% of it has been taxed, and I go and buy a house, they want fucking tax on that as well. I've got to pay stamp duty. So they'll take another 25% of that or whatever it is, or another 20%, or I don't know what stamp duty is. Yeah, but for me to for, for me to move to sell and then buy again. So slowly, what they do is they take all your fucking money, every single fucking penny they can get out of it, and they leave you a little bit till you fucking die. And then when you leave that to your kids, they tax that fucking lot as well. What is going on, man? How are we just accepting this for life? Can someone tell me in the comments? That is a mad rant. Sorry, that's nearly five minutes, but. I just have one little glance when I'm picking up my fucking morning coffee across the front pages and I'm like, yep, yeah, here I am. I ain't even been taken out on a fucking date. I ain't even been bought a drink and I'm getting fucking bummed.